Hi guys, this is Primus here from Primus Cloud Solutions. Just a quick demo here for you this week. Uh, so it's it's a fast tip I want to show you uh, on how to create machines or how to create laptops. Call it I call it laptops on your just through a web browser. I want to create a Windows laptop right here. So it's an instance. is an is called an EC2 instance in uh, the AWS language. So this is all about cloud computing, guys. I just want to show you some of the tips, some of the things that you can do with AWS or with cloud computing in general. It's a beautiful world to be in. Smaller, medium-sized companies, entrepreneurs who want to just test test their uh, applications or just run uh, something simple and see if it works they can jump in here and do it even for free as we have free tier all along for a year for those who sign up with AWS uh, Azure and Google also have free tier and you can sign up for that uh, so let's log in here to the console I'm going in with this email uh, and I'm logging into the console so we are right in in the console this is where the magic happens guys uh, there is a whole lot of services here that you can use to run your business any kind of uh, uh, IT service you get it in here there is compute there is storage there's networking there's databases there is machine learning there's there are developer tools how to build an application there are application integration uh, tools there's security and identity management there's just a whole lot of analytics and all of these so these are some of the services that you get on uh, the cloud uh, if you decide to migrate to the cloud and here let me show you how to quickly run instances when I say instances I simply mean mm, servers machines so you can get on here go to EC2 and uh, you, you launch an instance what kind of instance do I want to launch I want to launch a Windows instance these are Amazon Linux machines there are all types of uh, uh, templates so Amazon uh, machine images are just templates that have already pre-made or pre-built uh, software uh, like uh, maybe servers windows servers and all of these already available for you to use so i want to do a windows server let's do a windows machine and this this one let's just select this one and it's free tier so you can use the free tier one for up to 12 months and uh, it will be telling you the amount of storage and space you can use and cpu utilization on all of that in emails so let's quickly go in and choose an instance type there are so many instance types there's the micro instances general purpose instances compute optimized for those with large uh, workloads that need a lot of compute optimization there's FPGA instances machine learning type of instances for those who are running machine learning models and memory optimized for wor workloads like big data and the rest so there's just a whole lot of instances what we want to choose here is just the general purpose which is free tier just to test this and uh, what type of what number of instances do you want one num number of machines so i can launch up to even a hundred machines right here right these are a hundred laptops that i could run but let's just do one for now just for demo purposes and uh, this is a virtual private cloud so you can create your, your your network you can define a network for yourself and then define subnets to where you want this application to be running and uh, in what availability zone you can decide to choose or leave it that way you can uh, auto assign a, pub a, a public IP address you can use what is already there so there's a whole lot of things you can do right here I'll just leave it like this for now at the default steps and we continue you can add storage this is adding uh, volumes right you can add EBS volumes here that's elastic block store uh, for your workload to so store your workload so we're adding g 8 gigabytes here and uh, it's general purpose SSD that we are adding so you can decide to add or leave it as is and you continue you can also add tax here what environment are you working in the environment is production for example 
you can say the environment is production and you're good to go and then you configure security right you configure a security group what security do you want let's do http i want to open this application to the internet so that people can come in through port 80 and the whole internet can be able to view this if it were just a web application so i'll review this and uh, they are warning me that hey you've opened it the security group is open to every ip address out there and i'm confirming that hey yeah i know it's mine so i would need to define a key pair that i'm using this is kind of a public and a private key that you get i created this before you can create a new one here this is for security purposes no one else can access this machine except you except you have that private key that is defined here now let's launch this machine the machine is launching it's launching it's already launched guys so we've we've uh, we've simply put on a laptop this is i call it a laptop that we're putting on so it's it's pending it will be running in a moment so we can just be refreshing and saying waiting to see it in action to see aws in action to see cloud computing guys in action so we've taken uh, barely five not even up to five minutes to create a lap to buy a laptop call it to order a laptop get it up and running and you can running and shut it down anytime you want without any charges right because this is free tier if you are still under the free tier aws offers the first 12 months for free for those who want to just try things out so this machine is running you see the state the instant state here has changed to running it was st still uh, processing now it's running and uh, though it will take some time for us to be able to connect to this machine but in the meantime you can download rem the remote desktop file here this is it i've downloaded and be able to connect to this machine guys so we will be able to connect to this machine in a moment we can't find it there will be an error because the machine is still uh, processing right so it needs a password to get the password you need you need to you know to get a password you need to decrypt the private key i told you you could not connect to this machine except the private key was available so we need to decrypt or decrypt the private key and to do that this machine needs to run for like five minutes so that we can decrypt it uh, i would let it run for five minutes and hey guys uh welcome back i think this uh should be ready to go let's see if we can be able to decrypt yay we're able to decrypt this key and so we want to get a password from it let's check if we can be able to go to our primus key pair the primus key pair is not this one uh it's a different key pair let's see if we can be able to figure out where that key pair is located <clears throat> uh, give us a moment here mm, so I want to look for where that key pair is download that primus key pair we just want to have a, a password we want to get a password to be able to log into that instance oh yeah this is the keeper so we get the keeper up this is a you know the keeper the private keeper so it's just a whole bunch of stuff here we want to decrypt it so we've decrypted it and we have this password and we'll copy it and go back to the machine to the desktop that we opened up earlier and we can put this password this is the password we just copied and if you want to remember it you remember it and uh, hey you are able to log into your system this is a laptop we've created this is a windows machine 
you see we are opening it up here and you're able to have a machine right in front of you in less than 10 minutes i mean this could be a hundred machines that you've launched in less than 10 minutes guys so there's a whole lot you can do your work on this machine you can run whatever however you want to run this machine is just booting up so you see it's a brand new laptop you've bought for yourself with everything ready to go you have uh, the internet everything so you can just set this up and begin to work on this i just wanted to quickly demo this and next week we'll be demoing demoing other things that you can do with uh, the aws console or with cloud computing in general this was just one little thing that i wanted to show you quickly uh, you know as far as cloud computing is concerned once you're done with your work and you're hey, satisfied maybe if you were just testing something out that's fine you can test that out and go back and uh, terminate this machine so I'm terminating this machine right away and boom it's shutting down I have nothing to worry about no cost nothing I've tested out things and if they didn't work fine I'm shutting it down and this is just a quickie Primus here from Primus Cloud Solutions and I'm saying goodbye. See you again next week.